Welcome back to another video of Supermarket Simulator. Anyway, let's play. So we just opened the shop. The timer literally just started for the day. Sitting on eight eight and a half thousand dollars, pretty much. Uh, we did stock uh, stock taking, looking pretty good, looking pretty good. So I sat here AFK while I went, you know, for dinner. And when I came back, finally, all the boxes was gone, and also no one stood with any item in their hands. That is a that is a record right there, honestly. That is really good. So even though I bought so much in the previous episode, like ah, this one looks fine, this one, looks, you know, at the end of the day, we uh, we bought literally everything we needed, nothing too much. In fact, I bought. Um, I can't remember what it is. Cheese? So out of cheese again. But I bought some cheese and that's literally it. So it looks like we need a more cheese, dude. I'm pretty sure we don't need cheese here. But they did use two boxes to fill it up. So, good stuff. Our system is finally working. So I would say roughly about two more days, right? Maybe until level 35, I don't know. Uh, but we're going to upgrade our shop soon again, buy the new license. And then I'm going to hopefully keep the shop size as is. Uh, because it will be more profitable if we can keep it the size. Uh, your, your rent increases every single day if you increase the size, so... If we can avoid it, we'll definitely, definitely do so. That guy looks like a butler, dude. Something to drink, sir. Goodness. He's gonna come here and just buy chocolate. And oil. That's what he bought last time, if you guys remember. Sugar, that makes sense. Hey, you walk past the chocolate, bro. Oh, you want some spray, okay. Three of them. More sugar, okay, okay. Okay. Peanut butter, I mean, what is sugar without peanut butter, dude? Get in some rice? Okay, that's only one. Only one, dude. Yo, he's... Uh, oil? I, I knew it. Some hand sanitizer. Some milk. I mean, how else are you going to drink the oil, right? You got to have some milk with that. There we go. Some uh, cereal. Dude, you walk past the chocolate aisle four times. Bro, you impress me, okay? You you heard me say you're gonna buy chocolate. And then you you bought everything but. But you bought every kind of sugar. <laughs> Ugh. So I don't know if you proved me wrong, okay? Orange juice. I don't know if I would. I mean, I would do her. But I don't know if I would buy orange juice. If I was coming to this shop. To be honest. It is soda or water. That's how I feel like. I mean, I have nothing against juice. It's just... Some of them are so clunky. When there's chunks inside of it. I'm like, no... So I normally just tend to stay away from it. If I want to eat something, I'll eat something. But if I want to drink something, I don't want it to be thick or have some leftovers of mush left behind, you know? So I would rather just stay away. Because the, the ones without chunks inside of them they feel they, they taste watered down. 
So I would rather just stay away from any kind of juice. I mean, let me know in the comment section your thoughts about this, obviously. For me, it's a big no-no, no-no. It's a pretty much a no-brainer. Uh, do we have six-pack milk? We don't. So that is... The Red of Doom, Red Flower. This red one also. The blue flower. Is that chicken? I think that's chicken, right? Yeah. Yeah, we can get some more chicken also. Some chicken. Why is so chicken? Oh, we need toilet paper also. Oh, we're out. I'll buy four toilet paper. A double purchase before 9 p.m. Again, it sounds like Christmas. Are you winning, son? Who knows? Maybe there's like a hidden mechanic in this game. If you have employees, I don't know, that that's sitting behind the counter or the till, whatever you want to call it. Maybe then they will pay more. They're willing to go up more in the price. I'm honestly looking for the negative thing for a south counter. The south checkout counter. And you know, I, I, I every now and then I go on YouTube and just search what people do on this. And then I see a guy with four tellers sitting there with four employees. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me, bro. Like, first of all, how long did it take you, right? Because... You yourself, uh, let me see this, you yourself have to check out 1,750 people. You yourself. Not, not an employee. You. Okay. We will end the day here. To have four tellers. I would rather just pay $900 for something that autom automates it. So we have oil, cheese, and sugar. Uh, it's not that one. It's this one. Yeah, it's this one. That's a 3.75. And now it's cheese. It's not this one. That's cake, not cheese.
one of this. I think it's this one. Okay, all the prices look fine. Let's do some stock taking a bit. Okay, all the way up. We need blue flower. Blue flower. I will buy sugar also. Water. Sugar. Water. Okay, we need milk. I don't know about bread. Okay, milk. Peanut butter. We can buy olive oil again. I think we need to buy bread. I'll just buy it. Okay, so now it's rice. I'll check how much rice is on the shelf. Ah, uh, so two is fine. So rice, uh, six pack milk. Then we have whatever that is, it's cereal. Okay, we're fine on bleach, so our hand soap and shampoo, so hand soap, shampoo, uh, we need more toilet paper, red, how about honey, honey is fine, tuna, Tuna. We can buy eggs also. Sugar is fine. I think we need chicken. Yeah. And potato. Chicken, potato. Okay, then we need eggs. That's just a whole queue. Second from the bottom. Okay, stock taking is done. I don't know if I bought that, so I'll buy it now. Left side of... I think I did buy it, but whatever. Might become an issue. Then we'll sol solve it. Okay, opening up shop, and uh, let's chill for the rest of the day. Let's become rich. I'm a rich bitch. Getting closer to the level 35, though. And I think the next worker is level 37. Yeah. If we get 20 racks somehow inside our storage. I don't think we will. We probably will have to upgrade the storage first. Trying to think of another system we can actually use here. So I think our computer shouldn't be on the wall. Because we can use this wall again for another stock take. Um, we're going to use this over here, but we're going to put a rack right in front of it. And it's going to face towards us. So it will be two racks pointing the same direction, if that makes sense. In a, in a line. Uh, it's going to be harder to see our stock, obviously, in the beginning. 
And on the end, well, we're not going to have stock there at all. If that's the case, we could just take that one out and move them in or something. I don't know. Potentially get another rack. Yeah. I mean, it's not going to make sense for now. Uh, but these ones over here that you can see is just duplicates of said big items, which is problematic in this game because of how the AI works. If bleach runs out and there's bleach outside, it will take the outside bleach uh, to refill this the, the inside instead of using the bleach that's already in the inside to, to refill it. And that becomes a problem. Uh, so rather just add six bleaches here, six toilet papers, you know, and hopefully that will get rid of the issue. It won't go 100% away because it's a coding glitch. But at least it will help, right? So we will put another rack here. And then that will be the new ones. It will go down. Uh, so over here will be two rows. And then the new rack will start from here. So then we'll have another uh, one, two, three, four, five lines of purchased or purchasable items. And then I think if we move the desk to here, we're going to have another double rack in front of us, uh, which can also be another six uh, items that we could buy. But then from then on forward, I honestly, I honestly don't know. Um, either we have to expand to increase the amount of rows we can get. But in my opinion, it will expand outwards that way instead of that way. But I have no idea which way it will expand at this moment. All I know is that it's going to be tough. The end game of this game is going to be tough. And I think it's because of the amount of rack people you can get. I honestly feel like there should be at least two more at end game. Only four is, I don't know, it doesn't feel like it's enough. Because, like, this is how my shop looks on the outside with three. Now, with four, I would say it will be 10% less than this. But if you have literally 120 products inside your shop, this pile will be about four times bigger, if not more. Even if you have four people working. <laughs> Now the cool thing is, at least, they are programmed to always take the stock with, I mean, whatever needs to be restocked, right? Now the problem is, it will take it from the wrong place. So what I would say is, this is highest priority. So anything that the shop needs restocked should be grabbed from a box in this area first before using the outside one. Otherwise, you're going to get stuff like this. One toilet paper, two toilet paper, three toilet paper. Two toilet paper. That is a problem. Uh, do I have any toilet paper here? Oh, it's... No, no, it should be on this side. There it is. There's two... So this could all could be like literally one, two, two and a half boxes. But now it is five different boxes. Because of the coding glitch. And I honestly just, I, I can't believe that I'm the only one <laughs> complaining about this or... Knowing that there is a problem that needs to be resolved. So blue flower, let me show you here. This is this is how you figure it out. So he's standing with blue flower in his hand. But if I take this box, 
you'll see that there's four in here. And his is three remaining. So that means that... If I take out this four that's on the rack, he will then get programmed to bring that box back and use that four. And the box will be thrown away. And the reason why is he grabbed the box from the outside and then he racked us and there's four left and he's like, okay, I don't understand that there is no space anymore. But does he have one? No, he still has four. Huh? He, he did throw away a box, because now there's enough space. But you catch my drift, right? I mean, if they make it where the guy, instead of just standing here with a box in his hand, he in, 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 in instead drops it to the floor over here. The game would be too easy. Because I could be buying everything. Uh, it's, it's fairly cheap to do that. Every day buy the whole shop. Every day buy the whole shop. Right? And the guy will just keep restocking. And keep dropping boxes. At some point. Yeah, the game will just become easy. So I'm, I'm pretty sure they made it this specific way. Alright. Cake, cheese, and pasta. It's not that cheese. Then what cheese could it be? Parmesan. It's this one. Close to the candy. Dude, the price maybe changed like in a cent or two. Should I just restock what I think? We'll do just that, I guess. Pasta, candy, and turco, sure. Hmm. 
Leech still looks okay. Parmesan. Cereal. Buy a chicken. Potato bag, chicken. We need some French fries and then cheese below it and then the water. The bar oh, 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 oh. I feel like we can buy this sugar also. But it's gonna glitch out. I think I bought pasta. At some point. Dude, it's like chaos outside, man. Goodness. Let's open the door. And we're open. I went to sleep, actually. <laughs> Between clicking open. Just woke up. Pretty hungry, actually. But, uh... You see, the, the, this game rewards you to take breaks in between so that these boxes can get stocked. So I think what I'm going to do is, you know, pause between opening again so that these guys could just, like, uh, do their job. Give them a minute to do everything. You can see they're taking everything to the back now, but it will, it will change. Once we have one person buying. I absolutely love the system we have running at the moment. I feel way more organized now than what I was before. We'll, we'll get this racks full with some other big projects or other big... Uh, Items like, you know, bleach, like toilet paper, um, like potatoes. We'll get this full with that as well in the future. We're going to put a rack in front of it and we're going to put a rack against that wall. So the PC will have to move back. I might as well just do it now. Not a big fan of it though, because it will only be a double rack here. And if we expand it and it goes backwards, it will be bad for us. I'm, I'm actually hoping it would go that way. Because then I could move this there. Uh, and that one next to it. So all will be in one line, actually. One chicken. So this is also a one chicken. So what I can do is just this. Hold the box in your hands. So they can't use this box. It's filled up. Is the chicken again in your hands, dude? Yeah, it is. 
Uh, so... There's another one, chicken. Mistakes was made. Okay, there we go. There we go, I beat you, bro. Now you gotta put that box on. Okay, perfection. What's a green light coming from here? Now it's gone. Okay, I think we can buy more coffee. Okay, let's probably buy more milk. Uh, the six-pack milk. Okay, more tablets. Dishwasher tablets. What is that white? It's on the left. More cheese. More cheese. And the red one next to it also. The blue one below that. And more pizza maybe? Goodness, climbing into the guy's mouth. Awkward, bro. more bleach also we did buy coffee eggs egg pack eggs Yeah, we have more than enough chicken. Okay, we still have some people in the shop. We'll end the day soon. 
Outside is not looking that bad, actually. Okay, that was the last client, I believe. So we'll end the day here. Setting on $13,000. Okay, so 12 pack eggs and salt. And this, this is the 12 pack eggs here. Ooh, that's a big jump. Okay, I honestly do think it's time for us to... Let's get down, let's get down to business. Um, management, product license, it's time, dude. It's time. Let's do it. Okay, so we scroll all the way down. Okay, so... From the T onwards, it will be there. So, let's see your fridge. Fridge, okay. So, we're looking for a purple and... I don't even know what that is. A salmon? We'll take blue. Purple, blue item. So, this is uh, blue. And there's the purple. So this one is first. Next to the T. There's purple. And then we have blue. So purple and blue is done. Uh, 10 point, what is it, 10.1, 2, uh, 14, Woof. we're making big profit on this one, dude, sha, <laughs> that sounds so, she, okay, we'll buy those again, just so it can be actually filled up, Okay, next items. A scallop graten. A steak. So it's again fridge, fridge, fridge. Goodness. How's the outside looking? Should I move items a bit? So we always get the like latest one. What do you have, dude? That's sugar. That's the new newest sugar. Is it? Yeah, it's this one. Okay, there he goes. So that is sorted. So we'll buy the scallop, steak, and sushi. So blue, steak, and... Okay. So I'm gonna just put it here, blue, steak. And sushi, okay. We do have an extra... Oh, it's a deep freeze, never mind. Uh, so we need to buy another fridge. Furniture. Freezer triple. 
don't know what that is, but it, it's a little bit more expensive. Freezer single, a fridge mini. Shelf. Display fridge single. Display fridge double. double. Yeah, it's, it's smaller fridges, dude. I want the big thing. So buy one fridge, double fridge. I think I bought it the wrong color. Because it goes back to standard. So one. I'm going to work here. Can't throw, can't do anything with this. So let's place it in. And I'm scrolling the other way, dude. Thank you. Uh, let's just put it in the middle for now. Okay, so that's one done. Let's get two. Steak. Then we have to buy those again so they can place it. And then sushi large, so we have to buy products, no furniture. Everything is fridge, by the way. Uh, so I need to buy a total of two more fridges. Our only hope is to have one here. We can put one here. It's just not going to look that great. Or we can put it there. That will fit. Oh no. Come on. People can still walk by. So here's number three. Some nice sushi. Okay, so that's sushi, and uh, we'll buy sushi again, and we'll set the price at 25.6, should be good. How much are we making? $7, not the bad. Okay, so that's sushi. Now we're gonna buy sushi small. And a veal top. And it will start on this rack, I think. That's veal. It has to be this. So that's sushi small. Uh, 
Sand Veal. Buy them again. I'll just make it 16. 13 cent increase. Uh, not bad prices, dude. In all honesty. Okay, quickly stock taking. We need bread. <clears throat> bread uh, oil and red buy so they can start working uh, then it looks like peanut butter and then nothing for a while uh, bleach. Yeah, we can buy bleach also. No, no, no. So it's just spray. Spray. White cheese. <laughs> uh, then looks like sugar. No, it's cereal. Okay, then it is toilet paper is still fine. Huh. Looks a little weird. Okay, then it's eggs. Never mind, I, I looked a bit wrong. So eggs. And the blue one, salmon. And then the meat, steak. The new products is really expensive though. So you got a thousand dollar bull hit there. It's kind of crazy. Okay, I think stock taking is done. And new items is added. So we can just open now. And we didn't have to expand, so that's a good thing. The veal is like $600 for two. Look at that unit price well i mean total five hundred dollars total six hundred dollars five hundred dollars if you go a little bit earlier you'll see it's a lot cheaper a hundred dollars fifty dollars thirty dollars sixty dollars so the latest items I, I i i don't know it might just be this um this license it is extremely expensive stuff this guy also looks new now. I honestly do think you get different people, maybe, depending on your level and license rank or something. Something along those lines. I think this guy bought one item, dude. Wow. 
wow. Well, at least he called himself a happy customer, I guess. Storage is full. Two items. Sushi, and I think he had the blue. So... Olive oil is too expensive. Oh my. Where's my one button market price set? The whole store. Eh. Did I, there might be a mod that does that for me. Like, I need to go check. I'm pretty sure it's something you can mod. What is this even? Looks like it's noodles, though. Yeah, it's this. I'm selling a product without setting prices. 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 Thirteen point one. Uh, three dot six. So one of them should be not holding the item anymore. Okay. So I think this one is sold. Not really. They're still not prioritizing to put the one down. Uh, for now we can put it there. What do you have? Still sushi. It's one of the two sushis. Might be this one. It's not. So it's it's this one then. So for some reason they love to stay, take stuff from outside to put it in. So maybe we should put the box outside. Okay, let's stock take. While it's going on, we need pasta. I'm pretty sure we can get orange juice also. Pasta, orange juice. Apple, apple juice. How's the bleach looking? Ah, oh, we can buy some bleach. Hand sanitizer, shampoo. Shampoo, baby. Shampoo. Potatoes? Yeah, we can get potatoes also. Potatoes. And I honestly do think that's it, dude. Pizza. There you go. That should work.
You see, sometimes they just need help, dude. <laughs> okay, fine. We'll make a additional space for now for pizza. I think we'll just add like additional spaces until you know whatever it need their help is is solved. Yeah, we'll definitely need toilet paper. Yeah. Are you winning, son? 151 dollar? Yeah, I think that's all people, right? In all honesty, guys, I'm still shocked that we haven't, that we're not selling uh, mayonnaise yet. At least according to my knowledge. Uh, products found expensive. I did fix that now. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I don't know what Mosaka is. Dishwasher tablet, milk, and pizza. Not the smoke. Oh my goodness. Milk. It's a... <laughs> and we have so much of it. But it's okay, whatever. Um, we should check what other item moved in price, because I don't know what that is. So that's the milk. Display, shelf, fridge, freezer, crate. Eligible drink, ceiling. Must be one of the new items right there. Masaka. A boom masaka. This one? It is this one. Dude. Sure. Let's make five cents more. Okay, how's the outside looking? Uh, I still have work to do. We can stock deck. Okay, flower. Coffee, uh, cheese, and water. Red flower. Uh, rice, six black milk. So that's done. Then cheese parmesan. Uh, we need toilet paper. Everything looks filled here. 
So that is it. Okay, another day. Another day at the office. <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually planning to get to the end game for this game, dude. Like, it's... Like I said, I want to choose one, and I want to make it, like, you know, to the end game. I think a lot of people won't even get close to it. And I don't blame them, right? The game gets extremely hard. And maintaining viewers on a game like this is also pretty hard. You need to be very entertaining, I guess. Because look at me, dude. Me playing the game is stock taking, literally. And standing outside, looking into the shop to make sure that, you know, we have prices set. Uh, people aren't complaining about expensive products. Or missing items. And it's the best place to be, right? It's right outside the store, keeping an eye on the whole store. While everything else is automated. And also these guys with their beautiful rack complications. So there's one with a few orange... Oh, that's apple juice. He had orange juice in his hand. Beautiful. Uh, okay, we have a serious cheese problem. It's good that's solved right now. Okay, where is the orange juice? It should be down here. Oh, it's all the way on the other side. See, whenever someone grabs the orange juice, I'll put this one back. Because that box should be destroyed. Unless someone grabs another box from the outside. That's not orange juice. No one's grabbing the orange juice box, dude. Okay, that's again. So then I will solve the issue. I honestly do think the easiest thing this developer can do is if someone wants to put a box back is to just like combine the two boxes in number value. It's the easiest solve. Like, no joke. Obviously, it has a limit with every item. And if it tries to exceed the limit, then the guy could stand here and be like, Listen, buddy, I can't put this down. Feels like this place is bit, like getting more clients. Now, let's see. 52-ish, right? This on our average. 53, 52. Our cheese should be solved now, nice. It's 
So yeah, I buy cheese every time because it's not there, but I think two buys is not enough. It's the same thing we had with coffee, and eventually I had to buy six of them, and eventually it got filled up. You get it, girl. And by the way, we're getting closer to level 37. Which is the new rack boy. Stop clicking on bank, dude. There's nothing there to see. At level 37, 20 racks. So you can put another rack here. One, two, three. And how much we have right now? 13, yeah. So we can reach 16 at max inside this place. And I also don't think 4 is required just yet. It will speed up the box outside though. That's true. But we must probably will increase the store first, because we can get like... Oof, I would say... One... Two... We can most probably get like three product licenses more... Before this place is filled up. And I have to upgrade. So yeah, we, we must probably will upgrade the store to... Maybe four times before I get another rack boy. Because I'm not going to upgrade the storage anymore just for rack boys. It doesn't make sense. This has to be more than 50 clients, dude. We can start with stock taking. What's that? Yeah, that's peanut butter. And sugar. And salt. Level 36. Box is looking fine outside, actually. I think this guy bought one item. Okay. And we're done for the day. 58. You see, you do get more. It's funny how, how I realize, you know, two of them. Well, 58, it's five of them per day extra. The 1.75. What was the other one? I forgot already. That's because I didn't read it out loud. Oh, it's six pack milk. Eleven dot three. So we could just do this. Do 
You see, I'm scared to buy stuff because I know we bought quite a bit. That's outside. Okay, I think we'll wait for this to get racked. Uh, I'm just gonna go get a drink. Okay, so let's see what's up. That's uh, salt. Oh, sorry, that's sugar. Eggs, milk, and tea, right? Yep. Then we need soda, both sodas, both black sodas. What is that? This one. Both cakes. And candy. Cereal. Shampoo. Take. Yeah, toilet paper. We'll buy double. Looks fairly low. Double toilet paper. Uh, we need cheese, mozzarella. We need... It's honey, right? Yeah, honey. Honey. Eggs. Uh, tuna. I think I'll buy double eggs also. Uh, tuna, butter could be okay. I think I'll buy butter anyway. Butter, uh, the cereal, I believe. Yeah, cereal. Do we need, oh. Uh, cereal, do we need chicken? Yeah, we do need chicken. Chicken. Should we buy double? Yeah, let's buy double. Double chicken. Uh, potatoes. We definitely need potatoes. We'll buy double of that also. So double potatoes. Uh, red and the one next to it. Uh, next to the water. Yeah. So coffee light roast. And cheese. We have pasta. And sugar. That's it. Stock taking is done. We can open up shop. So the absolute right way to do it is to wait again. Until they're done with all these boxes. But anybody got time for that? See, that's where four workers would make the job faster. It won't make it more productive, right? It would just go a little bit faster. About 25% faster. But the problem would still occur that they're walking outside... To put inside the store and then store where they should be taking the product from the outside to storage only unless there's no storage item but enough of that issue it's not going to solve itself and the the best way to counter it is to not have items on the outside but I honestly do think it's a coding issue. Because, I mean, this guy must have a brain cell. Use the storage. To bring stuff, items in the store. Take the boxes outside. 
into the storage, not into the shop. Goodness. Yes, people buy all my items, everything. So it's unfortunate though, but like if you want to get another product license, it has to be... The size has to increase. And most probably will be double increase though. Because it's a 4x4 four four expansion, which is... It's it's terrible, okay? And look at how much it costs, bro. 2,600. <laughs> That's crazy. For a 4x4. Four four. A 4x4 four four is from there until here. <laughs> Maybe. So it's half. Will get most probably pushed back. I mean, sure, you can you can get a whole product license in there, right? You can build a whole corner. You can build two corner sections of shelves. I believe you don't get a corner with fridges, though. Oh, he's standing. Sugar. Whoa, is both full? Yeah, both is full, dude. I'm sorry. But, uh, uh, fine. We'll give you a slot here for now. People are not even still spending a hundred dollars. It remains under hundred. Even though we have this expensive sushi now and T-bone steaks and I don't know what else, dude. All these expensive meats. People still don't get a hundred dollars per day. There we go, a hundred dollars. Thank you, sir. Hey, look at that beautiful number. Can you beat him, girl? Not even close, baby. What was that? <laughs> Let's see you. Not good enough. Oh, man. You know, this is also something that someone realized from the card game simulator. I, ju I just compare this game a lot to that because it is a... Like, it's roughly the same type of game. That every unit that comes into your store have an X amount of money. And that that's determined by your store level. Or your shop level. Depending on the game you choose. So I think people are just budgeting under $100. On average at the moment. But maybe at level like 38, 39. 
majority of people will spend a hundred dollars. It, it's something along those lines. We have tuna problems. Not really, though. Yeah, our stuff is pretty well packed, bro. Looks like we're out of hand sanitizer again. Whatever, we'll stock pick soon. We've we'll quite a lot of stuff outside as well. We we'll probably will have to wait for a minute. But yeah, most probably will buy double hand sanitizer. So four of them, because I can see. Eh. How's it looking, dude? We have six here. Okay, it looks a bit better. Yeah, we're fine. Candy also. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Is that all clients out of the shop? Yeah, looks like it. So we'll end the day here. 57 clients, dude. Income 4,300. 4, so we're averaging about 4,300 per day. So apple juice, chocolate, and cleaner. I don't know what cleaner is. Is it this? That is a bit expensive. Oh my goodness, bro. You see, this is something I can do while they're packing. I could double check my prices. Because I think I missed a few days and stuff going up and down. On average, we should be good. But you don't know. Look at this. Uh, 6.2. Missing a whole dollar there per item.
So on average, we're good, it looks like. I think I went down this aisle already. But not this side. That is very expensive toilet paper, that's for sure. Holy. But it's market price, dude. They're still not standing outside, so... We have some more time. Wow. Uh, seven dot four should be good. You know, this is something I have to do also in card the the, the card shop simulator. Cause like in that game it's even harder to tell if something went up in value. This game at least tells you, hey, this is up, this is not, or well, this is down. With that game you have to open an app every every day. And that is not cool. Okay. Eggs. Cheese. Peanut butter. A red flower. Spaghetti. Rice, six pack milk, uh, green soda, spray, nothing there. Oh, so spray. And tablet. And I would just have to double check the big items like toilet paper. We'll buy toilet paper. Hand sanitizer. Uh, cheese parasan. Sugar. Fine on eggs, uh, french fries, uh, the red one, house, okay, we'll buy potatoes also, potatoes, oh, max, potatoes, red one, bottle of water, uh, eggs, And pasta. Dude, how much different pastas are we gonna get? Uh, tea. I think we'll buy double. Double tea. 
Because they are small to rack. Then we have salmon and large sushi. And small sushi. And that is it. Stock taking done for the day. That's what I'm talking about. We have a mountain of boxes, dude. Look at this beautiful car. Meow. Golf GTI, Volkswagen. I don't know what the other car is, though. Looks like a McLaren. But I could be wrong. That looks like a Jetta. Volkswagen. Maybe this guy just loves his Volkswagens. Or maybe he bought a pack of Volkswagens. I don't know. Because that could be an Amarok, but it's not. We ha actually have an Amarok. That's my dad's car. I drive a Kia Picanto because I'm a broke bitch. You know. Only thing I can afford. <laughs> and the Am Amarok drives like a dream, dude. I took my parents to the uh, to the airport. I'm I'm home alone now for like three weeks. My parents is visiting my brother that lives in Australia. I live in South Africa, and is. It's his birthday, the 12th of October, so they want to be there for his birthday. Um, so yeah. And I can't afford to go. And I have to look after the animals because we have like... Oof, dude. Four dogs, three cats. No, two cats. Yeah, one, one died, unfortunately. We don't know what happened, but his back was broken in a weird way. Uh, so, our guess is a horse kicked um, our cat. Because the way the back was broken. And we think the gardener of said house just threw him out over the wall. Because we found him close to our house. Um, but the yard right next to it, where he maybe got killed, or well, where he got killed, we, we assume that, has four horses. So we assume he actually went into the... I mean, we, we can't tell. Like, that's just assumptions. We don't really know what happened, but... Yeah, my, when my dad went to work, he found the cat next to the road. Very unfortunate. But it's okay. You know, it's life, it happens. Unfortunately. Still a mountain of boxes outside. But I have faith in my three workers. They're working hard. <laughs> Inefficiently, but they're working hard. I feel discouraged sometimes when people just walk past my shop. But at the end of the day, it's like, not everyone will go into your store anyway, dude. Like, it doesn't matter how good it is. Maybe, you know, they'll go off to work. Or maybe tomorrow. But eventually they'll get into your store. It's just how it is.
There we go. Got rid of the six pack milk box. That's what I'm talking about. The guy is buying a lot. A lot of yogurt is the price, right? Yeah, it's good. I don't really want to put stuff against the window because if I'm standing here, like it's a good view, nothing is against the window. But now we have that fridge there, which is annoying. Still don't have a drink, by the way. I got water. I need to mix my drink still. Just listen to that sexy noise. Oh, make me money, bitches. You know, I wonder if you end the day here, would it fast forward and, you know, they pay for their stuff before? Like, I honestly don't think it works like that. I think it just cuts off right now, right here to the next day. But I, I also don't want to test it out because this is where you make money that's free, right? The timer stopped. You don't pay rent. You don't pay your restockers because the time is the time stopped. Sure, no one will come into the store anymore, but. And also your restockers can actually get some time to catch their bearings, get rid of boxes, restock the shelves. But they still have to restock the storage because we don't know what we have. Okay, so we can end the day here. 56 clients. We made almost four. We make almost $4,000 a day. So salmon, french fries, and cake. Not that one. So let's do french fries. Looks like we're out of chicken. So the cake is one of these two. So it's this one. So salmon, what? How does it even look like, dude? This, this is it. Found it. Yeah, we'll make it ten point five, ten cents more. 
Okay, we'll wait a bit until this is a little bit more sorted out. In all honesty, the more I think about this, the more that fourth worker sounds so appealing. So maybe we should increase storage first and get the fourth worker. Um, but it's still a level away, so we'll have to go one day with three workers, one more day. But we can stock take for now. So... Pasta, milk, yeah, we could also get some, some black tea, coffee is still fine, okay, red flower, uh, rice, Orange juice, apple juice, and milk. And then we have candy and chocolate. Bleach. Yeah, we're out of bleach for sure. We'll buy double. So that's four times bleach. Uh... Tuna. Let's just double check. Do we need toilet paper? Oh, we're fine on toilet paper. Potatoes. Uh, we're fine on potatoes also, I would say. So tuna, then what about chicken? Yeah, we definitely need chicken, so... We'll buy double chicken. French fries, we have pizza, we have. So white and blue. Sorry, white, white and red. Goodness. Then Moussaka. Abu Malakataka. And uh, yeah, salmon. Is it? No, it's not salmon. It's, it's sushi. Sushi. And that is it. And okay, that's it. Okay, we can uh, start this day. So hopefully after this day we'll have four workers. So this will be our last day with three. It's going to be a lot of moving around here. Uh, shelves, because... It will make more sense for that one to be there, if it goes backwards. And most probably... Two racks to go there. Like, we'll see. If it goes backwards or if it goes sideways. If it goes sideways, it's bad for us. Like, how we set things up. But I assume it will go that way. Maybe not. Maybe this is as far back as it goes, because the windows only go until there. So it might only go that way from here on out. I don't know what that means, though, for us. But yeah, we'll, we'll figure whatever out, whatever obstacle comes in our way. Make me rich. I was also considering streaming this, but... To be quite honest, I don't know, man. Streaming... Streaming is a funny thing for me. Um, you get very... Like, especially me, that is doing YouTube now for... It's since 2010. 2010, I uploaded my first video. I didn't take it serious back then was uploading a beatbox video and I uploaded like two or three videos on how to jungle on League of Legends. 
Um, and then one of the videos took off. We reached 1,000 subscribers um, on League of Legends. So I just started posting a lot of it. At the start, it was for my team uh, because they were struggling uh, to, to play the game. So I made videos for my team on how to jungle. I was higher ranked than them, so I personally didn't like jungling much, but... You know, one of my players that's in the team, he loves jungling, he just sucks balls at it, so... Um, I watched some replays of how people start in my games since I'm higher ranked. And then... I made videos about, you know, that from a scratch. So I, I play against no one, with no one. And I jungle, so I just show them how to reach level 4 the fastest, and what path to take. And still be full health with certain heroes. So eventually, the like one of those videos took off, and then... I started to take it a little bit more serious. So I would say in 2011, I really started, like, you know, getting into YouTube. It's just our internet in South Africa is very slow. So uploading a 10 minute video like takes an hour and a half, maybe two hours in my time. Um, because back then it was, it wasn't fiber, right? It was, it was cable internet. And your upload speed is like 500 kilobits per second. And that is if you pay big bucks, dude. <laughs> So you can't upload and play. You either upload while you sleep because it takes so long. So you, you make like two videos. You play for the rest of the night just for fun. And then you, you put on your upload while you sleep. And hopefully in the morning when you wake up before work, you can, you can publish the videos, you know. How times have changed. Now it's almost a one-to-one -one ratio. Almost, no... One, it's almost a two to one ratio, right? If I upload nodes, it's actually less than that. If I upload a two hour video, it takes about 40 minutes of my time. And YouTube has changed so much. It's, it's way better now as well. So I can, I can like binge make three videos and I could upload them all three at the same time. Back then you didn't, you couldn't do that, unless you open up two tabs. And then your internet was so bad anyway that one one of them most probably would fail to upload. But yeah, it's very discouraging for a channel or someone that's doing YouTube for this long. Or when they're streaming, they don't even reach five viewers. The chat room is just dead. I would rather just play by myself, pause in between and, you know, open the doors for the dogs. I can go, like, it, it, I think it's within this video, right? I recorded 24 minutes, I went to sleep. When I came back, you guys didn't even know. So it's stuff like this that makes uploading better. And also... When streaming came out on YouTube, YouTube really started to push it. So that's when I did YouTube full time. But YouTube is no longer pushing his streams like, like it used to. It's a very small selection of people that will be growing off streaming on, on YouTube. YouTube is made for videos and you'll grow off making videos. <laughs> And this is a Let's Play channel, so I don't really want to upload guides to this channel as well. Like, the top five things that makes this game a lot easier, for example. I know it will get views, but the people that will come to your channel, they are necessarily not watching gameplay content or Let's Plays, right? They, they, they watch a guide, they might subscribe, and they'll never watch your videos again. So, I, I honestly think that's also one of the wrong things I did on my previous channel. Because as of right now, I have a no commentary video of the full Life is Strange 2, which is number ranked. It's ranked 1. It's higher ranked than Markiplier. It's higher ranked than Jacksepticeye's playthrough. Um, if you have a brand, a brand new browser, 
you'll see that my video is ranked higher than theirs. It's the full gameplay of Life is Strange 2 from beginning to end, a 14 hour video. Um, and it's almost 1 million views. That will be my very first video ever that reached 1 mil, one mil views. But it's a no commentary video. I almost made no commentary video. I almost made no videos that is no commentary. So now that thing is number one on my channel. So again, I get people subscribing. And when they watch my content, they're like, oh, this guy does commentary. I'm not going to watch that. So wrong video there. And then the two videos below that is guides, like how to install mods for Resident Evil. That's like number two. And then how to fix your PSX2, which is an emulator for PlayStation 2. Uh, if there are seams, which means there's like lines. That is my number three video. And I've live streamed on that channel for maybe five years straight without making guides or tutorials or like no, no commentary videos. And that is what's taking off. So it's just at a point where I'm like, you know, you got to be very, very careful what you post because you don't know what's going to happen in the next year. The wrong video can take off and that could ruin your channel because I think that's what happened to me. I'm now known for those guides on how to install mods, how to fix seams. This is not a guide channel, you know, and then also the number one video right now is the no commentary. I think I posted like three videos there's no commentary. And that one decided to be number one in, in search. Okay, so it's actually a pretty good day. So this begs the question, let's see, cheese, veal, and coffee. Holy, that's a big drop. So cheese... Not this cheese then. So maybe it's... It's this cheese. Huh? Okay, whatever. Coffee? Oh, that's big drops, dude. I don't know which cheese, so let's just have a look here. It's one of the new stuff. Yeah, that looks way overpriced, so it's this one. Okay. Uh, do we increase the store right now? I don't think so. We have... Our workers is doing a pretty good job. The boxes outside was almost uh, completely nullified. So we'll stock take. Okay. I think by now you guys also understand how I organized. my shop and how to stock tech it's a pretty straightforward uh, way of doing it in my opinion I mean a two grader could do this dude but it's setting up that's the problem and there's another channel that I watch you know I don't want to mention names but there's another channel I watch that has like 30,000 subscribers. And I'm like, how is he getting that, this many views? So like, I, I'm studying his channel. And he made videos about this. And I'm like, what? People watch this? People watch this stuff? Like, I don't get it. Um, I 
And now I can see why people watch this stuff, dude. It's a very hard game, <laughs> not gonna lie. It starts off easy, and I think most channels will not get to the end game. I think most people will not get to the end game. So that's Veal, yeah. We, we fixed that. Okay, so all this is again stock taking. Should we increase the size? Let's do it. Let's see. Let's see which way we're going. It's that way. Okay, so we'll have to buy one more. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense. And unfortunately, this is not bigger. At least in my eyes, right? In my view. We can't fit in two racks there, right? Can we? We can try. Let's see, let's see. Because if this one can get in there, then it's perfect. Oh my goodness, it does fit. That's perfect. Okay. Yeah, whatever. We'll just leave it. So, furniture, tall shelves, tall racks. I don't know how much we need. Uh, let's just double check quickly. Uh, management, uh, hiring. We need seven from this point on. And I, yeah. The thing is, we can build seven and then just box them up. So, tall racks, seven. We can get seven of these. It's just raining boxes, dude. So we're gonna just put them down and rack them up again. Or box them up again. It's weird that it's skewed like that. There we go. So we'll hire and box up. I want it somewhat out of the way. Well, let's probably use this eventually, but for now it doesn't make sense though. Now this one we can just turn.
Yeah, we can make the duplicate shelf over there, actually. So that this will be another whole stack. We must probably do that. Should I just do it now? Get this place sorted out. <laughs> Did you see the box just teleport here? <laughs> uh, this one. I mean, it's going to be in our face a bit if we do it there. So this is fine. So there we go. I mean, we're getting to places now where most YouTubers or most content creators won't even get to. So I think already we're like in the one percentage of like distance in the game. And I'm planning to go all the way, baby. I don't care how many views we get for this. So I'm going to do it. If I want to get known for, you know, playing games like, like this, I have to prove myself a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Eggs. Uh, black soda in the middle. Um... Cake. Uh, the other cake also, both cakes. Spray. How's our bleach looking? It's looking okay. Yeah, we don't need bleach then. Uh, this washer looks fine. Then we have hand. Oh. Hand sanitizer. Uh, I don't know what that is. Sugar. Sugar. There's a box in the corner here, so it looks good. Yeah. I don't know what that is. I think it's eggs. Butter. French fries. What is that, bro? Yeah, it's eggs. Why don't I see it? Where's honey? Oh, it's way lower. It's way lower. Uh, everything else looks fine. Is it way lower? <laughs> no, it's not. Okay, so eggs. So eggs. And it's something in the middle there. Looks like a meat icon. So it's steak. And then a veal chop. Dude, we have $500 left. And now we have four workers, dude. This is pretty much endgame worker content, right? <laughs> but guys, we're going to actually end this video over here. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please make sure to leave a like. It really does help a lot. Subscribe if you're new. And we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.